morning guys so i'm currently in my hometown just driving through um i'm actually just about to go past my old little flat that i had loved that flat so yeah it's pouring down with rain i was really hoping we might get snow for christmas because it did get really really cold but no such luck just rain especially when you watch other people's vlogs from around the world and they've got snow and it's like oh wow wouldn't that be nice so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog today, um, although Lizzie, the one that I do first that has all the crazy colours and stuff, she's pretty cool and she don't mind like me taking pictures and little clips and stuff like that, she's quite cool like that. And then um, I'm not actually even going to my friend Mandy's who I usually go to when I'm down because she's in Amsterdam. I've got her presents with me in the boot, I'm going to go drop them down because her kids are home, her kids are old, I don't know what they're like. She's living her life now. <laughs> now her kids are all grown. This rain's really starting to come down now. Right. See all the buses. Driving in London is very different to driving in Kent, I'll tell you. Very, very different. The roads are so populated. Look how many buses are in a row. Look, one, two, three, a white one, four. Four buses, just solid. And then there's another three over there. And then where I live now, the buses like run at a schedule and you'll get, and the timetables, you could wait an hour. Whereas here, you were waiting like a minute for a bus. You know, they come literally continuously, continuously. Because the, the the population of people is just so high, but I like that. I like the hustle bustle of living in Tottenham. Although, because actually, I've lived in Kent now for ten years. It was ten years in November, um, so you definitely do get custom to where you're living. But when I come back, I do miss it. It's just a completely different lifestyle. Now there's not a single one. Not a single one. Yeah. All three of them have been, one's flats, one's spurs ground, and I'm not sure what they did with Opera House. I'm not even sure what they did there. So, but things change, eh? And then there's things like Percy Ingalls, has always been Percy Ingalls for as long as I remember. McDonald's has been there since I was a kid, right where it is. The Tottenham fish stall has always been there. There's certain things that, have ne that haven't changed and others that have changed so much. It's when the roads change, that's what gets me. I'll be used to driving from certain lanes and certain ways and then they'll change something and I'll be like, oh gosh, when did they do that? Oh my gosh, the bus has got holidays are coming, like a Coca-Cola advert. And it's flashing. It's like a TV screen on the side of a bus. What? It must cost a fortune. Oh no, Lizzie's car's bumper's hanging off. Lizzie has a really old car. Let me show you. That's Lizzie's car. It's so cute. The bumper's coming off. The amount of times she has parts nicked off that car. She's even had the number plates nicked off it. Um, inside she had all the interior redone so it's all canary yellow inside it's such a cute thing yeah it's not cute car very very old so like I said I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to um, vlog but I'll try
Danny was just having a dance, and as soon as I pulled my camera out to record him, he scarpered off. Because I said, I fancied coming home and saying to him, do you fancy going out? And so he started dancing like, yeah! But I didn't. Because I was thinking, on top of Christmas, we need to save our pennies, really. January is a long month. Mm-hmm. So yeah, same position as I was yesterday to end the vlog. It's like, like I said, I didn't really record much because obviously I was doing Lizzie's hair, but it was fun to do it. Because she's so good with her hair, she just says, do what you want. And then I can be so creative, which is really, really fun. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye.